Welcome to this factorial tutorial of the auto repairing world. So I'm just setting up a little bit so we can show you. So let's pretend from now on that this is the outlane of your base. Like I have right here, but a bit bigger. So, but I wouldn't fit on the screen, so I do it like this. We have a wall on the outside. This is just a part of the wall and the aliens are on the nexus. So the solar panels are here on the left side are the aliens and they want to come to your base. In your base you have a station that we're gonna call um, A... Capital A we Repair. 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 And we're gonna put down a train. And this train is gonna do some nice stuff. So, what you gotta do to set this system up is to make a railroad around your whole base. Secondly, set it up. So, um, for example, I will set it up just quickly for uh, to feed in enough so, uh, enough to keep your diesel locomotive always working. I have a network set up here, so I will just carry items around and supplying everything. Then set up a system like this one. To put in, for example, I recommend a repair packs, another one for turret, you could do one for walls and for all the things you want to build your base out. But I really recommend doing turrets, oh, not, not destroy it, capsules, walls, where are the walls, where are the walls. So we'll just put that up, don't forget to connect it all up to the power grid. Oh, that doesn't have power because it's not connected to the power grid because that's so now we have a locomotive that will always be fueled if um, there's enough so let's make this a little bit smaller if you middle click on the items for example you can say that always there need to be some bricks on that spot I did that too with my normal locomotive let's ask that to come home I have one set up a little bit bigger. I have turret, balls, robots. So let's add robots too because that's a good one. Robots always die. These are the four things that probably will die during um, the wall research. So if you middle click, you can set up what you want to do. Like we want to construction robots, and we want to ask for construction robots. Um, where are they? I just saw them anywhere there. A minimum 50, fine, 50, fine, 50, fine, 50. So, this setup will make a train that is capable of going around base to all zero wall sections. The wall section itself is the most easy part. We had the most difficult part up setting up the rail sections and setting up the train itself. Now we have something that looks like right this. This is version 3, if you want to know. We, you can just flip that down around the walls. For the robot port itself, um, it needs to be um, every part of the place you want to repair it needs to be in the green area that you can see on the low side of the uh, on the left down side of the screen. So a next robot port should be at least. We just go a little bit like. Oh, there's already a robot port. Oh yeah, that robot port is placed down. So that robot port is placed down. You can see that's the line that used to be right there. Then the next port will be not like that, but like that. So uh, just connect it to it. You don't need to connect the red ones up. It will um, make some uh, pretty uh, awkward things. For example, if here is something break and on the right side is repair pack, robots will fly over. The system we are going to install right now doesn't do that, so don't worry about that. So this robot port is now waiting on stuff. So rename everything to something um, you can remember. I remember uh, what I did is I set up all the robot, uh, all the uh, stations to Z for the lower X, V W for the left X, I for the upper one. And X for the right one. So, but we're gonna just set this up to uh, Z1 because we want our repair system. We set this train up to go to itself. I repair. Wait until an interactivity 
or wait until time passed a long time because now it will start every 200 seconds it will start running around then we need to insert every station and I'm serious about this you need to input every st station so we did it set one and it's gonna wait on the interactivity so when uh, other station so let's put it into automatically so it will go around it goes to this station and when these things are not picking up anything I uh, did a purple one for the upper ones I'm gonna explain you a little bit more purple ones for the upper ones and white one for the lower one because you need more repair packs mostly so when um, it leaves so it goes to set one it would just go down there and it's gonna wait until I think the activity meaning that one of these are not working the lower one is for if you junk like for example I for the for these one a junk I'm just gonna put that in here, bring that back to the base, and we can unload it right here. And we need power. This way we could unload junk, for example, wood, because a lot a lot of times have wood. <laughs> I'll do a little bit crazy because this is connected to the network, and that's why we didn't want to do that. So it would now uh, just go go around to the Z1 and it will start filling these chests up and when the bite just come uh, for example destroy a wall it will and i don't have rubbles on me and the bite just come and destroy the wall it would just pick the stuff out of this chest and ta -da, it will start replacing them and repairing them automatically of course this will not happen in the real world that many but you can see it's working and it's almost replaced it all it's just waiting in a few turrets which are gonna pass down pretty quickly and this way you have an auto repairing ball so back to this system how does it exactly work well there's a blueprint in the description but I'm gonna show you it anyway we have a robo port and three of these three of the inserters the first inserter like this one uh, waits until um, they are less no, it will filter only these one and if you connect it with a red wire or green wire it doesn't really matter to help you get this system and you're gonna enable disable which is default defaultly and then you're gonna enable condition so it will only be enabled when there's less than um, 25 uh, construction rebels you can higher up this limit if you have problems with it also don't forget to do read robot states and then we know we want to after available construction bots we want to set that to that layer as you can see right here a uh, total construction bot sorry so the total construction bots will be controlled construction bot this one will read that and when the total construction bot is below 25 it will put new rob or new construction robots into the robot port and we can also do that for the other stuff for example if we pick our again a passive provider chest we do this um because uh of reason because i didn't do that before and it's way better to do that so um three passive provider chests so the first one is going to do a uh, turret i found that an uh, less than five turrets in the chest is a nice balance for the bricks I said it's less than 20 which is more than enough but I think it's still fine because uh, it's not that uh, not like expensive to make for the repair packs however I set it to less than a hundred so if you want to recommendations those are my recommendations on that I also highly recommend but it's not um, it's not that you need to do it for the working I set up another one on a lower one so if you just go far up Another one on the second wagon to load off uh, junk. It's gonna do the one around. This way, if the robot port finds any junk or something that it doesn't know what to do with, for example, you deconstructed anything or it found lambs, whatever, it will put that in the construction in the storage chest, and that storage chest will put it into the robot. Uh, will put it in a tray. Otherwise, the robots will pick up the wood, for example but then don't do anything because they don't know what to do with wood and would we'll just hover over them until aliens kill them and they will be replaced by new ones this way they doesn't so that's about it for um 
for the auto repairing wells. Don't forget that you need to do, oh yes, I'm seriously, every wall that needs auto repairing, you need to make this system. So let's, you can see right now, I'm just hovering it over. You can see, ooh, it goes this way. You can see I have tons and tons of these stations around just to make sure it auto repairs the balls. Also, um, for currently I set it up for every 10 minutes and that's fine so it will make a round every 10 minutes plus the time it takes for going around which would be fine so uh, waiting until 200 would be fine. Why do you want this number as high as possible? It's because then you have lower fuel consumption because this train again is going around and around and around and doesn't stop. Uh, if you have problems with not repairing fast enough, you can lower this one. As you can see, it just remove is moving on its own right now. It's gonna refuel this one, and then it's all be fine. So there's probably nothing to refuel, and then we'll leave and we'll continue and uh, doing it all around. Don't forget to add another station if you make more stations, because I can show you the train, my train. Oh, I'm sorry, and then go down. This is the train with all the stations that it goes by. So that's quite a lot. But for now, I want to thank you guys for watching this uh, tutorial of Factorio, and I hope to see you another time soon. If you have any comments, leave them down below, and have a nice day.